Hey guys, how's it going? It's Big Chef JC. Tonight we're going to talk about deglazing and why you do it, how you do it, and what it's good for. Deglazing is a process that happens whenever you cook food. Um, when you cook onions and garlic in a pan, or you brown ground beef in a skillet, or you grill something on a grill, deglaze or caramelization happens. And that caramelization is the browning of the sugars from the heat of what you're cooking it on. So when you um, brown meat in a skillet and it has like the brown stuff on the bottom, that's caramelization. It cooks the proteins or the sugars or carbohydrates that are in the food. Uh, that results in flavor. If you take regular sugar and you take caramel, it's the same thing. But caramel has been caramelized and it tastes way, way better than just eating white sugar. So that's the same thing that happens to the food when you cook it. When you caramelize something, it brings out flavor from the natural sugars or carbohydrates or whatever that are in the food. So I'm gonna show you how to do uh, a little bit of caramelization and a little bit of deglazing on your own. Deglazing is the process of taking that caramelization on the bottom of a pan, pulling it off, and then bringing it into whatever it is you're cooking, whether it's a sauce or uh, a stock or anything like that, that's what deglazing is. And we're gonna show you that tonight on Spirited Taste. Let's do this. So right now, I've got my oil heating up in the pan. Um, you can see it getting that little shimmery color right there or that little shimmery action. That's when you know it's hot enough to throw something in. So right now, I'm gonna take my onions you want your oil pretty hot when you're doing something like this. Anything that has a tough, um, anything that's tough like onions or peppers or carrots or anything like that, you don't want it pretty high because as soon as that hits the pan, it's going to cool that oil down and that pan down because it's going to transfer all that heat um, into you know the oil. So then the oil has to reheat back up into the onions or whatever it is that you're cooking. So I threw that in there and you can hear it kind of slowing down. Um, it was really hot at first and sizzling and now it's kind of more of a mellow um, sound. So I threw that in there and we're going to give it a couple minutes and I'm going to show you what it looks like after it is been cooking for a, a minute. Yeah, minute. All right, guys, we're back. And I've had this on for about two to three minutes, and you can see how dark that's getting. It's actually getting really, really dark right now because I pulled the onions off to the side over here, and then I'm just letting this brown. I'm going to take this and put it right back on. Hear that sizzle? It's really hot now, and this is gonna this this is before burning stage. This is getting you know basically this is what is happening. Caramelization is going on and whenever it, something burns the sugar cooks too long and it's unedible um, so the little bit of moisture in these onions and garlic kind of deglaze the pan a little bit you can see whenever i scrape that stuff comes off right there um, but it doesn't do enough so what you do is you add a liquid in this case I'm adding some burgundy red wine because I am making yeah, I am making a burgundy tomato sauce. Um, so now I poured that red wine on the pan. And now I'm going to scrape the bottom of the pan. I see I have kind of a flat handled um, or flat ended spoon, wooden spoon here. And that's just to be able to scrape the bottom of the pan with a wider edge. Um, you can kind of see that little dark mark right there. That's still uh, caramelization. I'm going to just, you know, keep scraping that off. People might think that's burnt, but it's not. See, and now that's pretty much gone. All that stuff that was on the bottom, bottom of the pan is now in the sauce. So all that caramelization, all that sugar, I just deglazed with that red wine. Now, what you can use as a uh, deglazer is just about anything. I could have used water. I could have used uh, stock or broth. Um, I could have used vodka if I was making a vodka sauce. You can use any liquid 
to deglaze. If I was making a stir fry, I'd deglaze with maybe some sake or some soy sauce. And um, that can be your deglaze. Uh, any liquid that can, you know, pull that off of the bottom of the pan um, and incorporate it into the sauce is a bonus. Now, what will happen if I just let this cook is it'll reduce down. All those sugars in the red wine will do the same thing. Now, that gets a little sketchy because you keep doing it and then you keep having to add more liquid and um, you can end up with a really nice dark sauce, but you can also screw up and burn it. So I recommend maybe once, uh, or I mean, definitely once, maybe twice if you got skills um, to, you know, deglaze if you want to reduce something down, like a tomato product, a tomato paste, and deglaze it a few times to get it really nice and dark, go ahead, um, test your skill out. But um, that's pretty much it. That's the essence of uh, deglazing. That's deglazing 101. And I will see you before we go. Walking back over to my spot. Derp, 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 derp. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. That's deglazing 101. Um, really easy process, adds a lot of flavor, adds a lot of charisma to your dishes, and will make your sauce and your dish taste better than everybody else's because you've got skills. That's right, you do. Um, all it takes is practice. All it takes is doing it over and over and over again. If you really want to learn how to cook, that's all it is. Um, it's experience. So I hope I show you a little bit to get you started. Um, I hope you enjoy the vlog. I hope you enjoy the videos. There shall be more to come for sure. Check us out. Spiritoftaste.blogspot.com. Facebook.com. Spirit of Taste. There's a slash in the middle of those. Um, Twitter at Big Chef JC and on Google Plus, Big Chef JC. You folks have an excellent week and I will talk to you soon. Peace out.